Hey folks, this is Mark with CETAC002D. Now this is part of Orient's uh, executive series. And as you can tell from the case shape as well as how it rests on my wrist, this is really quite a classic piece. Now this watch is a mechanical piece, which means that it does indeed, does, uh, it does indeed use a spring instead of a battery for power. Now, uh, what's the advantages of having something like this? This is the art of true watchmaking. Um, making a watch using a spring to power it is what they call mechanical. This is the true essence of watchmaking. Yeah, a lot of people will say quartz watches are great too, but we also make quartz watches. But there's something about a mechanical watch which is absolutely fantastic. So let me go ahead and take off the watch. You'll notice that there is a logo back here of the company. You'll see two buttons on both sides of it. Don't just pull it out, press both of them and you'll see that the lock in here unlocks. Go ahead and unfold it out like this. And then to re-engage the, the lock, go ahead and press it in until you hear a click. The band uses both a combination of matte and polished finish, uh, finish metals. It is, does use solid uh, so I use a solid band which makes it a very nice, uh, it's the nicest feature you can have for a band. And uh, take a look at the side of the case and you'll notice that there's a lot of lines on there which actually gives it a very, very three dimensional look as well as a little more I would say, it's a little, it makes it a little more pleasing to the eye. Alright now here's the uh, case back stamp, oh sorry if let's take off the hologram just Know that there's a, uh, a company logo over there with a case back stamp. Okay, now to the dial. Let's try to get as close as we can, Chris, to this shot. So there are three things that you should see on the dial. You'll see a 24 hour indicator, a day wheel, as a, a day indicator, as well as a date wheel at the bottom with the window at the bottom. A 24 hour indicator works with time, so wherever you set the time, the 24 hour indicator is going to follow that. I'll show that to you with the crown in a sec. So we have a date indicator, clearly shows you which day you're in and the dates, which I'm sure you're very well familiar with. Now, let me show you the crown to see how this all works. Uh, for those who really um, want to understand the mechanical, uh, the features of a mechanical watch, Go on my uh, product, product page and take a look on the right side and click on what is a mechanical watch. And you'll just spend a few minutes there and you'll really understand the technology. And I think you'll be impressed, which is the reason why I'm asking you to go. And uh, you don't have to buy an Orient mechanical, it's just something that you, I think you should know, you know just for all sorts of, uh, for any reason. So, let's go ahead and use the crown. There are two settings, there's obviously the neutral setting. There's the first setting, which allows you to, uh, to change the date, and the second setting, which allows you to change the time. So with the first setting, if I rotate the crown towards me, well, I don't know if you want to say towards me, but this way, you'll notice that the date wheel turns as such. So let's go ahead and change time. You'll notice from the 24 hour indicator, I'm on the AM portion of it. So even if I cross 12, the day is not going to be affected. Now the next question is, how do I pivot the day wheel? Watch this folks. Here's midnight. So some, somewhere between around 1.30 and around 3.15, you're going to see two pivots. The reason why Orient watches typically use two pivots is because we typically don't use an indicator like that. We use a wheel that has both Spanish or English or French and German. Uh, it, it uses two languages. And so you'll see two pivots. And this is absolutely normal for an Orient movement. So let me go ahead and around 1.15 to 1.30, you'll see it, the, ha the first step. There you go, you saw it right there. The next step happens around 3, 3 o'clock to 3.15. So here's three, yeah, happened around then, okay? Now that it's completely on Thursday, usually around 3.30, go ahead and reverse back and repeat the process until, you, let's just say we need to go to Sunday. Just watch me go to Sunday. The only thing I really ask you to do is wait until you see it, the indicator fully go to the next day and then reverse back. Okay, now it's on Sunday, now I can reverse back, okay? So, um, Okay, folks, so uh, you can tell from the design, it's extremely classy using the nice, uh, nice bar indexes with the double bar on the 12. 
gives it a very traditional look. So, um, and you can also tell in the square, in the inner square, it's got a nice little texture on it. All right, folks, so this is CETAC002D. Hope to see you wearing it soon.